Riley. Riley. J Rock Hands come back to you too. You too. Oh, what is happening with the millions? And millions of J Rock fans from all over the world, you're right here with J Rock. And J Rock is here because we have got to check out the feud between Randy Orton and Hey, as you all remember, Randy Orton gave Beth Phoenix, the wife of Adam Copeland, Ed, the RKO. You know, Randy Orton is an equal opportunity RKO, and Beth Phoenix was in the wrong place, the wrong time, and she put her hands one too many times on Randy Orton. And so now, the husband, the help, the, the, the soulmate, the, the husband to Beth Phoenix, Ed, is of course back to seek retribution. And to say that this has gotten personal is done. So, we're gonna check out this full segment of Edge returning. Just, now, just so you guys know, this video is probably gonna be claimed, all right? But we're gonna watch it anyway, all right? Come on. I can think of a lot of other cities I'd much rather be in. You guys are so insignificant. You can't even become a state. You're just like a little dot where nobody really cares. <laughs> but that's not why I'm here. MVP I'm going here the heel route this time. I see you. At this point in my career, I'm transitioning from in-ring competitor to absolute brainiac. I've tasted championship gold many times. And it's time for me to help lead others to championship status. And in order to build my stable, I need a solid foundation. And I'm going to build my stable around a man like... Like Edge. See, he and I go way back. We're good friends and I learned a lot from him. And Edge, he's that dude. But he just has a problem sometimes with focus. So with my leadership, with my guidance, I'm sure there's no question in my mind I can lead Edge back to the prominence that he once held. I can make Edge a champion again. But he has to focus. He has to listen to me. And we have that kind of relationship. Now, I know all of you can't wait to see Edge, but Edge isn't here for you. He's not. Going up in the Lincoln? Okay, Edge. There he is. There he is. That's my man. Gray hair and all. Business. He's all business. You see that expression? We're in the Goldberg walking in prison, ain't it? Where's the security? Come on out here. Do I have a proposition for you? You think you know me? Marvin Gaye is. Let's get it on, baby. Hey, 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 what's wrong with you, man? See, that's your problem. Your mental is off, Edge. Your mental is off. You're focusing on the wrong things. I hear embarrassing yourself. You know it's coming. Hang on. Hang on, Randy. There you go. Hang on. Hit him. 
Come with it. Did he hit the mic? Hit him with his, hit him with his own move. Bam. Don't need another one, brother. You don't need another one. He was just like, oh no, hell no. What is that? I guess that's a new finishing move or choke hole, sleeper, whatever you want to call it. Hey, oh. yeah, to you know it's coming. You know it's coming. Cue up the orchestra. Cue him up. Do it again? Oh, snap. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, Randy. every piece of this concerto. thing that could have made this even sweeter and I'm gonna tell you just a second. J-Rock says this, there's one thing that could have made this segment even sweeter than it was, and that is one man who could have put the cherry on top that could have made this segment even better than it was, and that is the one and only good old J-R Rock. J-Rock said it before, and he'll say it again, and again, and again, until they bring him back. J-Rock, you belong right here at home in the WWE. j don't give a damn if you start on NWA, WCW, WW. Uh, uh, AEW, New Japan Pro Wrestling, J-Rock don't give a damn, your claim to fame was right here in the WWE. Damn it, this is where you belong. So whatever the issue is, you didn't have a heart for the heart with Vince, 
a heart to heart with Linda, a heart to heart with Shane, a heart to heart with Stephanie, with Triple H. Oh, it doesn't matter who you talk to. The only thing that matters is that you bring your Rudy Poo candy ass back to WWE and you help sell this product like only you can. This is where you belong, JR. This was your claim to fame. That would have made this segment even much more sweet than it was. But J Rock says this. This, in my opinion, is going to steal the show at WrestleMania. Because you've got history, you've got the perfect uh, two superstars, Randy Orton and Ed. They've got the history together of being rated RKO. They know each other. People believe that these two probably like one another, that they have a vendetta, that there's some personal ruin between these two. This isn't some forced robbery like Roman Reigns and Baron Corbin's Rudy Boo ass robbery was. This is a real robbery. This is something you can see. This, in my opinion, is gonna steal the show at WrestleMania. Now, I think Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair are gonna tear the house down. And also Shayna Baszler and Becky Lynch. That's gonna be a good one too. Uh, a little shaky on that one though. I have to wait and see, right? But I know Charlotte Flair, she can work her ass off in the ring, all right? So I wanna see that one. This one right here. We know we got Brock Lesnar against Drew McIntyre. Uh, that, that one's okay, it's all right, all right? You can go back to the video and you can watch Brock telling uh, Drew McIntyre, get the belt, get the belt. So there are some things that, that Drew still has to learn as far as showmanship, right? So I think they need to add a third person to that one, all right? And I know we got Goldberg versus Roman Reigns. You and I both know that match ain't gonna last longer than five, 10 minutes, if that. Y'all know Ger Goldberg can't go longer than that. Hell, back in his heyday, he didn't go longer than that. That one has to wait and see. Then you're going to have AJ Styles and The Undertaker. You know Undertaker can't go that long either no more. So we're going to have to wait and see. But I think this match right here is going to steal the show of the night. J-Rock cannot wait to watch Edge and Orton. Get it up! More likely than a no DQ match. Fall, well, no, not falls kind of anywhere. No disqualification, okay? But we got to wait and see how this goes out. Post your comments down below and let J-Rock know what you thought of this. If you appreciate it and enjoy it. The Great One's reaction to this video, hit that like button. Subscribe and share. Check out the other videos on the People's Channel, all right? J-Rock wants you to come along so we can get to 1 million subscribers, all right? So make sure you subscribe to the People's Channel. Also, hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time, baby, time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba and Gigi forever. If you smell out what J-Rock is cooking.